Welcome to Good House 1968. I'm Brother White, and what I do is read and interpret from the Hebrew Bible. I have some commercial announcements, and then I will begin the program. If you're interested in attending Lapid Academy Learning Care Group, give them a call at 877-915-6850. <clears throat> Looking for an 800 number for your business, call Ring Central at 877-590-6374. Looking to do some traveling, call Skylux Travel, 855-394-1552. In need of credit repair, call Credit Repair, 888-855-3560. Looking to attend a college or university, call the National Education Center, at 866-947-9784. Been injured in an automobile accident or work injury accident? Call Parker Law Firm at 888-439-3370. <clears throat> Senior citizen in need of a reverse mortgage facing foreclosure call qualified reverse leads at 877-288-3715. Need communication systems for a business or home? Call Drive Communications, 855-450-5337. Need small business solution software? Call SARG Software, 855-980-3003. In need of different products to sell or market? Call SalesNexus, 855-781-1788. <clears throat> All right, now we go into our lesson. If you need a Bible, you can. Just give me a call, 312-925-9887. It goes to say, right now Abraham was old, advanced in years, and good had blessed Abraham and everything. Abraham said to the servant who had served him the longest, who was in charge of all he owned, Put your hand under my thigh, because I want you to swear by good God of heaven, God of the earth, that you will not choose a wife for my son from among the women of Canaanite. So he didn't want his son to marry a worldly woman that would turn on the worshiping false idols, among whom I am living, but that you will go to my homeland, to my kinsmen, to choose a wife for my son, Yischak. The servant replied, Suppose the woman isn't willing to follow me to this land. Must I then bring your son back to the land from which you came? Abram said to him, Show to it that you don't bring my son back there. Good the God of heaven who took me away from my father's house and away from the land I was born in, who spoke to me and swore to me. I will give this land to your descendants. He will send his angel ahead of you and you are to bring a wife for my son from there. But if the woman is unwilling to follow, then you are released from your obligation under my oath. Just don't bring my son back there. <clears throat> the servant put his hand under the thigh of Abraham, his master, and swore to him concerning the matter. Then the servant took ten of his master's camels and all kinds of gifts from his master, got up and went to Aram Naharayim to Nacor city. Toward evening, when the women go out to draw water, he had the camels kneel down outside the city by the well. He said, Good God of my master Abraham, please let me succeed today and show your grace to my master Abraham. Here I am standing by the spring as the daughters of the town folk come out to draw water. I will say to one of the young girl to one of the girls, Please lower your jug so that I can drink. If she answers, yes, drink, I will water your camels as well. Then let her be the one you intend for your servant, Yishchak. This is how I will know that you have shown grace to my master. Before he had finished speaking, Revkar, the daughter of Betiel, son of Milcah, the wife of Nacor, Abram's brother, came out with her jug on her shoulder. The girl was very beautiful, a virgin, never having had sexual relations with any man. She went down to the spring, filled her jug, and came up. The servant ran to meet her and said, 
Please give me a sip of water from your jug to drink. Drink, my lord, she replied, and immediately lowered her jug unto her arm and let her drink, and let him drink. When she was through letting him drink, she said, I will also draw water for your camels until they have drunk to their fill. She quickly emptied her jug into the trowel, then ran again to the well to draw water, and kept on drawing water for all his camels. The man gazed at her in silence, waiting to find out whether Good had made his trip successful or not. <clears throat> when the camels were done drinking, the man took a gold nose ring weighing one fifth of an ounce and two gold bracelets weighing four ounces and asked, Whose daughter are you? Tell me, please. Is there room in your father's house for us to spend the night? She answered, I am the daughter of Bittiel, the son of Milka, of Bort and Acor, Addy. We have plenty of straw and fodder and room for it staying overnight. The man bowed his head and prostrated himself before Good. Then he said, Blessed be good God of my master Abraham, who has not abandoned his faithful love for my master, because Good has guided me to the house of my master's kinsmen. The girl ran off, told the mother's household what had happened. Rivka had a brother named Laban. When he saw the nose ring and the bracelet on his sister's wrist beside, and when he heard his sister Rivka report of what the man had said to her, he ran out to the spring and found the man standing there by the camels. Come on in, he said, you whom good has blessed. Why are you standing outside when I have made room in the house and prepared a place for the camels? So the man went inside, and while the camels were being unloaded and provided straw and fodder, water was brought for him to wash his feet and the feet of the men with him. <clears throat> but when the meal was set before him, he said, I won't eat until I say what I have to say. Laban said, Speak. He said, I am Abram, serving. God has greatly blessed my master, so that he has grown wealthy. He has given him flocks and herds, silver and gold, male and female slaves, camels and donkeys. Sarah, my master's wife, bore my master a son when she was old, and he has given him everything he has. My master made me swear, saying, You are not to choose a wife from for my son from among the women of Kenanai, among whom I am living. Rather, you are to go to my father's house to my kinsmen to choose their wife for my son. I said to my master, suppose the woman isn't willing to follow me. Abram answered me, good in whose presence I live will send his angel with you to make your trip successful. And you are to pick a wife for my son from the kinsmen on my father's house. This will release you from your obligation under my oath. But if when you come to my kinsmen they refuse to give her to you, this too will release you from my oath. <clears throat> so the day I came to the spring and said, Good God of my master Abraham, if you are causing my trip to succeed in its purpose, then here I am standing by the spring. I will say to one of the girls coming out to draw water, let me have a sip of water from your jug. If she answers, yes, drink, I will water your camels as well. Then let her be the woman you intend for my father, for my master's son. And even before I had finished speaking to my heart, there came Rivka going out with her jug on her shoulder. She went down to the spring and drew water. When I said to her, please let me have a drink, she immediately lowered the jug from her shoulder and said, Drink and I will water your camels as well. So I drank, and she had the camels drink too. I asked her, Whose daughter are you? And she answered, The daughter of Bittiel, son of Nacor, whom Milcar bore to him. Then I put the ring on her nose and the bracelet on, on her wrist bowed my head, prostrated myself before good, and blessed good, God of my master Abraham, from having me from having led me in the right way to obtain my master brother's granddaughter for his son. <clears throat> so now if you people intend to show grace and truth to my master, tell me, 
but if not, tell me so that I can turn elsewhere. Laban Bithiel replied, Since this comes from good, we can't say anything to you either bad or good. Rivka is here in front of you. Take her and go. Let her be your master's son's wife, as good as said. When Abram's servants heard what they said, they, he prostrated himself on the ground to good. Then the servant brought out silver and gold jewelry together with clothing and gave them to Rivka. He also gave valuable gifts to her brother and mother. He and his men then ate and drank and stayed the night. <clears throat> in the morning, <clears throat> in the morning they got up and he said, send me off to my master. Her brother and mother said, let the girl stay with us a few days, at least ten. After that, she will go. He answered them, Don't delay me since good has made my trip successful, but let me go back to my master. They said, We will call the girl and see what she says. They called Rivka and asked her, Will you go with this man? And she replied, I will. So they, their sister Rivka, so they sent their sister Rivka away with a nurse, Abram's servant, and his men. They blessed Rivka with these words, Our sister, may you be the mother of millions, and may your descendants possess the cities of those who hate them. Then Rivka and her maids mounted the camels and followed the man. So the servant took Rivka and went on his way. Meanwhile, Yishchek, one evening after coming along the road from Bir Lakshah Roar, he was living in the Nagat went out walking in the field, and as he looked up, he saw camels approaching. Rivka, too, looked up, and when she saw Yitzchak, she quickly dismounted the camel. She said to the servant, Who is this man walking in the field to meet us? When the servant replied, It is my master, she took her bill and covered herself. The servant told Yitzchak everything he had done. Then Yitzchak brought her into his mother's Sarah tent took Rivka, and she became his wife, and he loved her. Thus was Yitzchak com comforted for the loss of his mother. So this is good for proceeding with his plan that Yitzchak is to have an uh, offspring that would be uncountable, as numerous as the stars. And he has now brought Yitzchak a wife from among the kinsmen and out of the world. That is my lesson for today. I'm going to share a prayer and then I'll be leaving you. Good, I petition you that you watch over and guide the brothers and sisters. Open their heart for righteousness and good to go in and to manifest itself and bring about nothing but righteousness and good out of it. Generous and kindness, generosity and kindness. I pray that you strengthen the brothers up, give them the faith and the trust to go on with their their with their struggle to serve you and to run the road for everlasting life. I pray that you watch over and guide them and direct their steps, and I pray this in the name of Yeshua. Amen.